Hello students, myself Rajbir and I would like to welcome you all on behalf of Shiv Jyoti Educational Group Kota. Students, today we will do the revision part for your English literature uh, poems which we have already uh, done but the first, the very first poem which we will do today is The Roadside Locksmith. It is there in your book, open page number 82. The poem is The Roadside Locksmith. So, who are roadside locksmiths? You must have seen people sitting nearby road uh, on the roadsides. They were like uh, carrying so many locks with them, with keys with them. They are known as roadside locksmiths. They actually repair those locks, fix keys in the locks which are already lost or broken, something like that. The poetess of this poem is Chitra Padmanam Dhan, right? Now, let's read the poem. The locksmith sits on the roadside with his wares. With his wares means in the sense with all his stuff he is sitting on the roadside displaying everything. You can see in the picture it is there. You can see in the picture the old man sitting under the shade of umbrella just fixing the lock and there are many locks lying nearby him. You can see this is the mountain of the keys. Many keys are there, old, new, big, small, many keys are there. So he's a locks he's a roadside locksmith who is sitting on a roadside and just fixing up the locks. Okay, now just read further. Now let's just read further what's there. The tilted black umbrella blocks the sun's glare. The tilted black umbrella in the sense there is an umbrella at the back of him. Under that, under the shade of that umbrella, he is sitting and fixing up the lock. That umbrella is actually protecting him from the heat of the sun. Okay, now a mountain of master keys heaped on the ground. As I have just shown you that there is a mountain of keys. Mountain of keys in the sense there are so many keys lying nearby him on the ground. He used those keys in fixing up the locks. Okay, now some dull, some old some rusty, some gold. It means variety. Variety in the sense some keys are dull, some keys are old, some keys are rusty and some keys are gold. Rusty in the sense jo bohat zyada purani ho chuki hai jin mein jung lag chuka hai. Right? Those keys are called rusty keys. Okay. The locksmith has the answer to every locked door. It means he can open any door because he has ample of keys with him. So he can unlock any of the locked door that can't be opened because the key is not there. If something, uh, if somebody is having a problem in opening any of the lock, that locksmith is going to help them out in opening it. Okay. And if you have a key that is lonely or lost, lonely and lost in the sense, if you have a key with you but the lock is not there, he can also fix it. He can also manage it. Okay. Don't worry, don't fret, don't be sad, don't despair. In the sense, he is actually trying to say that don't worry about that thing. He is going to fix it, fix that lock and he just make a pair, a proper pair of key and lock. He will find a friendly lock to complete the pair. Again the same thing is there. He is going to make a proper match of a lock and a key which can make a uh, which can make a friendly lock and it can complete the pair. So, the general thing is this that in the poem it has been explained about the locksmith, how he manages the things, how he can fix the lock, how he can make the keys and just help out the people if they have lost their locks or the keys. It was there in the poem. Now, let's just revise the notebook work. Okay, it's there in your notebook. The very first, you can see extract is given, the locksmith locked the door as we have just read in the poem, okay. Now the very, the very first related question is, name the poem and the poet. What is the name of the poem and who is the poet? The name of the poem is the roadside locksmith written by Chitra Padmanabhan, okay. Now let's move on to the second question. What does the locksmith do? What is the duty? What is the work of locksmith? The locksmith makes new keys for locks. The locksmith makes new and different keys for the unlocking the locks. Okay. Now the next question is, how does he have an answer to every locked door? It is actually asking that how he can unlock every locked door. Okay. The locksmith has an answer to every locked door because 
he designs and makes keys that can fit into locks and open them he can this is his actually this is his work that he can actually design different kind of keys according to the lock pattern according to the lock design so these were the three questions which are already there in your notebook learn them and revise them well students now let's just start with the new poem your next poem that is ring out wild bells it is written by alfred lord tennyson now what is there in this poem i'll just tell you in brief in this poem the poet is actually trying to tell that we should remove all the negativity from our life and we should start or we should start uh, we should begin with a very new with a very new we should have hope in ourselves we should have confidence in ourselves and we should definitely leave the things which are making us panic or just creating difficulties for us basically this is there in the poem now let's just read the poem what is there in the poem ring out wild bells to the wild sky the flying cloud the frosty light the air is dying in the night ring out wild bells and let him die so you must have understood what he is actually trying to convey he is actually trying to convey that this ear is dying this ear is dying in the night it means means this ear is going it is about to finish okay so along with this ear we should vanish all the bad things okay so ring out wild bells and let him die okay we should just ring out all the negativity from us and it should die along with the going ear okay and we should welcome the new year with the new hopes now let's read the next paragraph ring out the old ring in the new ring happy bells across the snow the year is going let him go ring out the false ring in the true it means ring out the old ring out the old means jo bhi bad images hain all the bad images we should remove them from our mind ring in new it means we should welcome we should be ready to welcome the new things in our life which may bring happiness for us ring happy bells happy bells in the sense we should we should try to uh, think about the things which make us happy we should try to do those things which make us happy across the snow the year is going let him go it means the one the year is actually going on going uh, we should just allow him to go and we should vanish all the bad things ring out the false ring in the true ring out the false means we should uh, false things ko we should let it go okay and ring in the true we should try to make true things we should try to adopt true things okay so now let's just move further ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that here we see no more ring out the feud of rich and poor ring in red dress to all mankind in means grief in the sense just sadness hoti hai we should ring out the sadness of the saps the mind which actually disturbs the mind okay for those that there here we see no more for them those who are not with us ring out the feud of rich and poor it means uh some people differentiate between rich and poor there is a gap between a uh, gap uh, thing gap of thinking actually for the people those who are rich those who are poor ring in red dress to all mankind red dress in the sense we can call out the red dress to set right something that has gone wrong we should make up our mind we should make up it in a right way okay ring out a slowly dying cause and ancient forms of party strife party strife in the sense the meaning of strife is a violent or an angry disagreement we should avoid it okay ring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners pure laws we should have sweeter manners we should adopt sweeter manners and should be pure laws okay so this was it for the poem now let's just revise the notebook work ring out wild bells stanza 3 it's there in your book it is ring out the grief pure laws okay now the very first question the very first related question is name the poem and the poet the poem the name of the poem is ring out wild bells it is written by alfred lord tennyson he is a very famous poet now let's just move on to the second question 
according to the speaker what are the things that we should ring out means we should avoid we should neglect we should vanish what are the things the poet wants us to ring out grief grief means sadness dukhi old ideas feuds and wars dying causes vanity and negativity as i have explained you while i was uh, just explaining you the poem that we should remove all the negativity from us inequality and greed inequality it means the differentiation between rich and poor many people differentiate means they just don't cooperate with the poor people right so this was it now the question number 3 what does the speaker think of the new beginning matlab what is what uh, what actually speaker think about the new beginning he is glad to hear the bells ringing out the old year leaving everything which has been done okay and bringing new hopes with noble mode of life and pure laws means going again starting a new year new life with the good hopes new hopes with bringing the noble mode of life and pure laws so this was it for the poem i hope you have understood both the poems as we have revised them well you should revise them again properly wish you all the very best for your preparations and for your exams thank you and have a very very nice day